Hey, welcome. I lived. <laughs> so, I did have surgery. It went well. I'll talk a little bit about that later. Uh, it's probably something I needed my whole life, but because, you know, insurance wouldn't cover it, and uh, I never really had the money to do it, it never got done until now. And, you know, I did lose a bunch of weight, so it made it a little bit more beneficial for me to get it done. You know, I uh, lost two, over 200 pounds from my heaviest. But we'll talk about that later. <clears throat> Let's talk about where we are right now. I'm in my basement. My first ever shipping area where, you know, RNG Games got its start. I uh, got my little light box, homemade, out of a, you know, a Walmart cardboard box with some Walmart lights on either side. My Amazon cubes, where I would store, you know, all my various envelopes and uh, bubble mailers and a couple wire racks in the corner. And, uh, to s I, you know, I don't come down here much because it's, you know, kind of where we store... Down here is kind of where I store, like, right now, the camera's propped up on a bunch of 151 UPCs. This is just where we store, like, backs, like, real back stock or things we just want to hold for a very long time. Things, you know, sometimes things that don't sell. Like, I think I have, uh, what do I have over there? Uh, Duels to the Deep Yu-Gi-Oh! cases that, you know... When they came out, I think I spent 50 bucks each a box. And I think you can get them right now for like 20 on uh, on TCG Player, even from the distributor. So, um, you know, that stuff. <laughs> but it's a little eye-opening and very much, you know, motivating for me to come down here and see where I started and, you know, where I'm at now. It's just great. Let's talk Pokemans. So, I had an interesting, you know, <clears throat> 24 hours, 48 hours, whatever it's been uh, after the surgery. I had someone call the store for me uh, wanting to pick my brain. First of all, please don't call the store looking for me to try and get information from me. Uh, for your business that's not what the store is for it's for you know my customers um and you know uh things like that all you're doing is tying up an employee and probably making it almost 100 percent chance that i'm not gonna you know help you out just because like you're tying up an employee you're i, I just don't like it don't do it. <laughs> uh, email me, text me, not text me, Jesus, don't do that. <laughs> um, email me, Discord, private message, join the Patreon. You'll always get a response there. Uh, or, I don't know. So, the interaction with this person was a little, because I happened to be there, and I answered the phone. <laughs> um, so... How it started off was, like, I immediately, as soon as I picked up the phone, um, they asked for me, and, you know, I was like, hey, you got them. Um, and they were immediately, like, I could just tell by the, the way they were speaking, and the rate they were speaking, and what they were trying to do, that, you know, they, they were being very, like, irate. And like, it's, it was almost mania. And that's the current kind of state of the Pokemon market. It's mania. So, you know, I told them, I was like, hey, listen, um, I can't really help you now because, you know, I'm trying to get things together for when I, you know, have to go get surgery and I'm trying to, you know, train up my employees and figure stuff out and, you know, do a schedule and whatever, email me, uh, with, you know, your information and what you exactly want from me and I'll see what I can do. 
he wanted to like rent out my Rokas because he has a 500,000 card backlog and I'm like what? I'm like all right, what a First of all, if you have a 500,000 card backlog, you would need to rent out my Rokas for like a month and give me like $30,000, $40,000. It ain't gonna happen. Just because like every day of downtime for my like my machines, it would probably cost me like five to $10,000. So I'm not gonna like rent out stuff that makes money for my business to you for your business. Uh, it's just not how I do things. Um, I told them that, you know, they understood that. And then after that, they pre-ordered a bunch of stuff for me off my website, <laughs> like Pokemon booster boxes. And I'm like, why would they pre-order booster boxes at like, you know, at what I'm selling them for right now? It just didn't, it didn't make sense to me. Again, mania. Then after the surgery, about a day or two passed, emailed me. Oh, uh, I need a refund on those because uh, we pre-ordered the Fizz Batch and we need all the money we can get. And I'm just like, oh my God, this person is just wish, wish washing back and forth. But, you know, like, <sighs> whatever, refunded them, move along, blocked them on everything. It's just like, it's, and when they shared their seller, all their seller profiles and seller information, they had like 500 sales on TCG player. And I'm just like, dude, you're putting the cart before the horse. You have to build up some sales first, learn the process, input stuff manually, get there as a store, as a build a good base to build your business on. You can't just jump out of a plane without a parachute. You need to like, <laughs> you need to put in the work Build the inventory, build the process, learn everything before you start getting all this automation and doing and getting off to the races, because you're gonna jam yourself up. You're gonna because think about it like this. <clears throat> this person probably doesn't have a way to acquire new inventory. I doubt they even have a five hundred thousand card backlog, because me as a store and at the rate I requ I get inventory i barely have a i mean we do we probably have a we probably have a million card backlog but we we acquire inventory at a rapid rate so i i doubt they even have that because he wanted to rent my machines for a day and i'm like for a day you have five hundred thousand cards you're gonna you're gonna sort eight or nine thousand cards and that'll be it like I don't, I'm, it was confusing to me, the whole, the whole scenario. Um, but you're going to rent, buy a machine, sort your 500,000 cards, and then you're not going to be able to find inventory or you're not going to be able to get any cards anywhere else because you haven't really learned how to do that yet. <clears throat> so you got to build your base, grow more sales, learn the process, and maybe, you know, in when you're selling six, eight months, a year, two years, then do that. Um, don't jump into it right away. I was selling for two years before I got a machine, you know, before I even opened the store. Uh, and when I opened the store, I didn't get a machine until after my first six to eight months. Um, yeah, it's just, it, I, I don't recommend it because, you know, you got to focus on the foundation before you start building the house. <sighs> so, let's talk about other other market news on uh, Pokemon. Surgeon Sparks, there will be a re... Listen, I, I, I know it's going crazy now, and I know people say it's going to be, it's underprinted, and it's going to be underprinted, but it, it's just, it's just not... I don't see them doing that. They're a business. Like, think about it as if you were running the Pokemon company. Would you underprint a most a really anticipated set uh, right before the holidays, or would you not do that? Yeah, I, I'd probably say you wouldn't do that. The demand for this is through the roof, so it's 
gonna they're gonna release it more and more and more and more. Yeah, they might bundle it. Yeah, they might, you know, make distributors take other things and then the distributors will make us take other things with it. But they're gonna it's gonna be available, but it might not be at that eighty or ninety dollars a box that everyone hopes. Okay? Uh this might be one we can make money on. So and that's another thing uh, in this industry is that people really don't value relationships. Um, relationships will outbeat money and your pocket any day of the week. I don't care who you are. Um, you can have an endless amount of money. If you don't have the relationships or know where to get the product from, your money is useless. Um it's just it just is what it is. It's it's different. I'm talking about from a business to business type of relationship, not a you know consumer to a business because whatever you know if you have money, you could just buy it for what it's going for. <clears throat> but when it comes down to a product performing well, and you're not able to acquire it because you haven't been uh, taking the licks on all the shit products for the years and years and years prior, you ain't gonna get it. It is what it is because the businesses that have been, you know, getting shit on, eating shit sandwiches for two years, buying battle decks and opening them and breaking even just to build their numbers and, uh, you know, just to keep the gears rolling, they're the ones who are going to get rewarded. Not you who has passed on every product that didn't double your money. You're the guy that's going to get passed up and then... You're going to come to someone like me or someone else like me asking for, you know, booster boxes at $95 or $90 a box. It's just not going to happen. Sorry, bud. It's just not going to happen. Uh, it ain't going to happen. Why should, a, why should someone who has taken a beating for the past two years on Pokemon sell you something so you can make more money than him on it. Right? Or am I crazy? People are making me think I'm crazy. So, that's the thing. Um, I know a lot of people now, you know, the, the, um, the sort of virality of Pokemon right now with everything is investing this that the other thing about investing oh, buy this don't buy this you need to buy this and there's a lot of you know business channels popping up that probably you know they sure they've been in it for a little bit but you know some people that have been on these channels they they try to acquire product from people that acquire product from me. And I'm not a huge fish in this. I'm a medium, medium fish. Medium to small fish. There's bigger fishes. But when, you know, I see people trying to get stuff from me that say they have so much Pokemon and so much product and they can get it from anyone and they'll do this person that. Well, why are you trying to get it from me? I don't get it. I thought you... you you, you know so many people. What are you talking about? Don't get it from me. And, you know, the fact that some people think they can negotiate a price on a, on a product that I paid for and that I, I dictate the price for is kind of funny. But that's, a, that's another thing. Relationships. That's why I said that. Uh, relationships will 100% it's worth its weight in gold. I don't care. Um, there's a certain subset of people that I deal with, that I do business with locally, that if they tell me they want 500 boxes, I'm ordering 500 boxes for them, and I'm covering it until they give me the money for it. Because I know it doesn't matter what happens when it comes out, I'm going to pre-order those boxes for them, and they're going to give me the money. Because I've dealt with them for years, they're trustworthy, and we do business. And that's how business is done. Uh, in the trading card world, that's it really is. You know, we all work together. Um, 
and they don't, you know, they don't want to deal with uh, owning a, a, a physical location or a brick and mortar. They're a business. They do their own thing. They rip and ship. They do whatever. They, you know, have office space where they, they stream 12, 18 hours a day and they blow through hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of product a month. And then they get it from me. But they understand the value of relationships. And that's something that I kind of live by. You know, there'd be no way in, in, on this planet that I would be where I'm at right now if I didn't value relationships. That's why, you know, sometimes I get a little bit better treatment, maybe, from my distributor than the average person. is because I value the relationship. We've cultivated it. We're friendly. We, you know, we talk. This industry is very niche and very small and people talk. So when you're a nice guy and personable and do nice things for people and don't fuck over anyone, it goes a long way. And it's astounding that I have to say that. But it does. I don't stick anyone with anything. If I tell you I'm buying it, I'm taking it. It doesn't matter if it dropped half of its value, but when it comes out, I, I'm eating the bullet. What surgery did I have? Now that we're 15 minutes into this video, <laughs> talking about Pokemon. Uh, let me start by saying uh, my whole life I've been, you know, overweight, obese, whatever. I think uh, I tipped the scales at 420 pounds at my most, at my heaviest. And this is something that, you know, kind of affected my whole life. So growing up, I've always had this issue with my chest. I've had gynecomastia my whole life. If you don't know what that is, Google it. It's basically, I had tits. <laughs> so, being that I lost so much weight, you know, it was time to get them removed. So, insurance doesn't cover it, unfortunately, because, you know, we're just not there as a society yet to realize that, you know, an overweight person, you know, still has the same emotional, physical problems as, you know, someone who's been born in, you know, a different body. We're just, we're just not, we're just not there as a, as a society yet. Even though, you know, when I woke up from the surgery, the, you know, the emotions I felt waking up were probably, you know, the same as in same intensity as a person, you know, who's been born in a different body felt when they woke up from their surgery. You know, I cried. It was very emotional. You know, <laughs> even now I, I feel the emotion of it because, <clears throat> because I know that in the future it's gonna benefit me, you know, and my wife and everything because you know when I go to the beach or the pool when we go on vacation I, I never go in it because my appearance you know I, I had a real big issue and you know it's just it's unfortunate that the insurance won't cover it because of you know, you're a fat person bad, basically. Uh, but it is what it is. I, I, we did, you know, it was very, very expensive. I'm not saying this to like, woe is me and, you know, uh, uh, go fund me. It's not, believe me, that's not the case. Uh, I, we paid for it out of pocket. It was, you know, it costs around 20 or $30,000, which is, you know, kind of expensive. So, uh, Buy some Pokemon cards for me now. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing. But um, it's going to really, you know, help the quality of my life and my mental mental headspace, everything. It's going to make me a better person in the end. Because, you know, I'm no longer going to have this thing in the back of my mind anytime I go on vacation or go to a beach, you know, is someone, you know, while everyone's jumping in the water, having a good time, you know, uh, I'm not because of this issue I've had my whole life. Um, 
and it's great. You know, I, I, I'm so, I'm, I'm happy that I did it, but it's just sad that, you know, the insurance companies now don't, you know, realize that fat people have emotions too. I, I know people say, you know, you could control what you put in your mouth, but you, sometimes you can't because, you know, addiction's a thing and, you know, it is a type of mental illness and people, I'm just happy that I got to the other side of it. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about other things now because I'm getting emotional. Uh, oh, the new uh, Star Wars set coming out we're running a sale on that i think we're doing 460 a box i mean not a box jesus christ <laughs> 460 a case through the patreon uh it's a little bit slower than the first one the first one was like phew, instantly gone uh of course it's not free tendies right now but it is a good deal so we're doing 460 a case on that the ethereum legend sale was insane um that was crazy. That sold out really quickly. We're, there's going to be a second wave on that. We're going to get, be getting a little bit more for our second wave. So hopefully we'll be able to offer uh, some more to people. But I think it's going to be a one case limit again on that. Star Wars is a two case limit right now. Uh, but everything's been going really good. I've been healing well. I still have a whole bunch of tubes in me and stuff. I don't know if you can. I don't want to show it. I don't want to get demonetized. Daddy needs some money, you know, he's got to pay for this surgery. <laughs> Playing. Uh, but I just wanted to share, you know, what happened, what I what I went through, the surgery I did, and, you know, a little bit of a sprinkle of the Pokemon and magic market and everything like that. And where we started. Thank you so much for following me along. Following me along. Following along with me. Because it's because of you guys and, you know, the Patreon and everything like that, that I'm able to live the life I live and sell cards. So, thank you.